This week we told you about a couple of popular parks in Newport. They're getting some new playgrounds. And that's a good thing. Just yes. in time, Ashley. You check them out? Yeah, for good weather, right? A yeah. lot of people were down there today. So the new equipment is in place at Buena Vista Park on 12th Street. Soon there will be upgrades to a park on the other side of town for even more kids and families to enjoy. Buena Vista Park on the west side of Newport is home to brand new playground equipment, thanks to funding from the American Rescue Plan Act. It may look modest, but trust me, it's a ser serious investment and a major commitment to our youth and our community and to strengthen a family environment for people to come and have an enjoyable day. These kids were enjoying the slides and climbing equipment, while other people were gathered at the shelter on the other side of the park. There's also a walking trail that's only a few years old. But the city isn't done with the improvements here. Another project in the future is to turn the parking lot beyond this fitness equipment into more green space so that the people coming here to Buena Vista Park have more options for recreation. It's great to see so much activity as you see today and uh, our other parks are also going to get refreshes and looking forward to continuing to improve the continuous improvement of our park system, which we have great parks through our community. The improvements at this park and those planned for Ralph Musman Recreation Complex near the high school have a price tag of $106,000. Money, Gadouli says, is well spent. We want to commit dollars to where it's going to get the greatest utilization. In our city, we have one public swimming pool, and it's busy. It's very busy, and we always look for other opportunities that provide an opportunity for people to be outside in the community exploring nature and having a good time with their entire family unit. There are about a dozen city owned and operated parks in the city of Newport. You can find a map at the city's website if you want to do some exploring this summer. So an even bigger project that is planned for Festival Park down by the river in James Taylor Park. They are doing an archaeological study of the ground there next week. We've talked about yeah, that we project in yeah. the past, so that's kind of continuing on. But get this, it's a big week in Newport. Uh, Trisha, of course, is in yeah, Newport. Yeah, I'm from Newport, yeah. Okay, Homorama for the first time ever is there this week, so that's a big deal. The Italian festival kicks off technically today at Pompilio's. They had... Boche. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the Italian festival continues tomorrow, of course, down at uh, the festival park. And then they're having their first ever Juneteenth festival next weekend. So they have so much going on for the next like week or so in Newport. I'll tell you what, I mean, like they've been doing a great job in Newport for a number of years. I mean, because, you know, when I was a kid, you know, and, yeah. and, and Tommy was, you know, he's a little bit younger than me, but we went to grade school together also. It was a whole different um, reputation of Newport. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that good. You yeah. know, it was like gangsters and, you know, a lot of bad stuff. Yeah. But it's wonderful there now. They're really growing.